Hi everyone, welcome to DLMO Boutique. For those of you who have been following us and watching our videos, welcome back. And for those of you who might be watching us for the first time, welcome to DLMO Boutique. We are fashion retailers and personal style advisors on a mission to help women feel good about how they look and what they wear so they have the inner confidence to go out and achieve their personal goals. If you're watching us live, we would really appreciate if you could comment hashtag live or if you're watching us on replay, please comment hashtag replay so we can time our videos better. We come live um, most Sundays sharing our advice and fashion tips and personal style tips. And it would really, really help us to time our videos better if we knew when people are able to watch us and whether they're watching us live or they prefer catching us on replay. Okay, so let's get into today's topic, um, which is your personal uniform and why every woman should have one. In our introduction, I always say that we are on a mission to help women feel good about how they look and what they wear so they have the inner confidence to go out and achieve whatever personal goals they have. And we are strong believers that confidence comes from competence. So the better you know yourself, the better you know your body, the better you know what suits you, what's you know most flattering on you and what you feel best in, the more confident you will be, the more clear you will be um, when you're out shopping and the more functional your wardrobe will be. So we've already done videos on body shapes. Uh, we did videos on how to pin down your personal style if you're not 100% sure, if you're not really happy you know, with your wardrobe right now. So you can go back and watch those videos again. Uh, we've also shared a um, PDF printable guide to finding out your body shape. So all that information is available on our page. You can go back and watch it. Today we want to take you one step further and get a little bit more specific. So we're talking about your uniform, about a specific um, se um, selection of clothing items that forms the base and the bones of your wardrobe. Okay, so I will try and explain it with an example. So my body shape is a pear, okay? so. Um, my uniform would be an A-line dress. So back back in the day, um, I used to really, really punish myself and feel really bad about myself because I didn't have a thigh gap, I couldn't pull off jeans the way other girls could, and that used to make me feel really, really bad and really, sh you know, just, I used to hate my body. Then once I was mature enough to understand that my that I have uh, a pear-shaped body and I will never look the same way in jeans like other girls do and I kind of started investing a little bit more in it in, in myself and getting to know myself um, A-line dress came up on the short list of things that suits um, pear-shaped uh, women and over the years I realized that that's what I feel best in that's what I am most likely to um, get up in the morning and pull out of the wardrobe and put on. So that's my uniform. I know it suits my body shape, it is comfortable to wear and I feel good in, good, good wearing it. So I, I have quite a range of A-line dresses. So I have, I, they come in different styles, different colors, some of them are wrap style, some of them have, you know, kind of shirt dresses. Um, they're obviously, you know, suitable for different seasons, winter dresses, summer dresses, um, different prints. Um, some of them are quite dressy, some of them are quite casual. So there's a whole range of them that I own, but at the end of the day, it's still the same A-line dress. So that would be my uniform. Um, the, uh, the reason why it is good to know what your uniform is. So let's say if you know what your body shape is, you get a short list of things that are the most flattering for your body shape. So let, going back to my own example, you know, I can wear um, 
airline dresses, I can wear fitted blazers, I can wear, you know, and you know, anything that's fitted on top and quite loose or straight at the bottom. Um, but so I have like I have a whole a whole list of things. But knowing that A-line dress is something I feel most comfortable in gives me a lot of focus. Um, and it also eliminates a lot of overwhelm. So when I'm out shopping, I'm not sort of running from one thing to another and maybe this will suit me or maybe this will suit me or maybe I should try this, maybe I should try that. I know that A-line dress is what, what I feel good in. It takes very little effort or no effort to kind of put together in the morning it just it just works for me and so i'm i over the years I, i've been able to kind of you know focus on it perfect it um and kind of adapt it to my own to my own needs and whenever i am out shopping um i only buy things that will work with my uniform so my jackets my cardigans my shoes they all work with my with my a-line dresses so I waste, you know, it reduces the amount of money I waste on impulse buys that end up just hanging in the wardrobe, never worn because they just don't go with everything and with anything that you have. So knowing what your what your uniform is will save you money, it will reduce overwhelm and it will give you a very, very clear focus uh, that, you know, they will give you a clear focus, a base on, you know, which you can build your wardrobe. Now, when I'm talking about having a uniform, it doesn't mean that you will always look exactly the same. Um, it doesn't mean that you will only wear one thing. It's not a nurse's uniform. It's not a policewoman's uniform. Your personal uniform is very, very adaptable. So as I mentioned in my example about my, my dresses, so, um, you know, I have, a whole range of them. So I have dresses for, let's say, day wear and work wear, um, something like that. They're quite simple, you know, plain colors, not too in your face. They're quite classy. Um, I put, you know, I put them together with maybe kind of a, a tasteful heel, uh, maybe a pair of boots with a blazer or or a, or a cardigan, something that you know is 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 fitted. Um, and that's what I would wear most days for work. Um, for weekend wear, I have a range, let's say, of knit A-line dresses or shirt dresses or denim dresses that I can, you know, wear with kind of desert boots or runners with a denim jacket and, or something a little bit more casual like that. And then for occasion wear or evening wear, I would have dresses that obviously are in, the, in a more luxurious fabric. Um, they might have a lower cut, you know, neckline, maybe they're cut, you know, low at the back. Um, as I said, fabrics are a lot more luxurious, luxurious and I put them together with higher heel, with, you know, fancier jewellery and dress them up like that. So you don't have to just, just because you know what your uniform is, it doesn't mean you will always, always look the same because your personal uniform is very, very adaptable. Let's use a different example. If you, if you realize that your uniform is a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, um, once again, it is very, very adaptable. So for a weekend look, you can just wear your most comfortable jeans, the ones you feel you know most relaxed in, put them with runners, put them with boots, maybe chunky knitwear or, you know, like a slogan t-shirt or whatever, whatever you feel most comfortable in. So you can wear that all over the weekend. If you need to, you can also adapt it for work where if your um, workplace allows for denim, you, you can choose maybe black or really dark wash denims. Uh, obviously always choose the cut that's most flattering for your own per, uh, body shape. Um, wear it with a, you know, with a, a kind of maybe a heel or flat shoes and put it together with chiffon blouse or a shirt nice crisp shirt uh, maybe a simple cotton top a blazer um you know or a jacket or something like that so you can adapt the same look for your workwear 
if you're if you have a more strict dress code in your workplace replace the jeans with uh, trousers that are in the same cut uh, as your jeans so the most flattering cut for your body shape and you know once again wear it with a t-shirt or with a cotton top or a, or a blouse or you know a shirt so it, it's kind of transferable transferable look and a very adaptable look for obviously for occasion wear or a, or a night wear invest in the best jeans that you can afford something that makes you feel uh, feel really really good and really comfortable and team them together with high heels maybe a silky cami or a silky blouse a bit of bling and you're good to go at the bottom <laughs> You know, at the, at the end of the day, it's the same look. It's jeans and a top. So it is what you feel most comfortable in. Um, it is your uniform, but you can adapt it for for any occasion. So now that I've spoken about, um, you know, the benefits of of knowing what your uniform is, we can get into the quick tips on how to find out what um, your uniform is. So the, the steps or the exercises you can do are very, very similar to those we discussed when we talked about how you can find out your personal style. So if you, you the first step would be to go and look at your own wardrobe um, and only pull out things that you feel most comfortable in, that you, that you really like wearing. And I'm stressing the word like. It's not... I don't mean pull out your pajamas because we all love wearing pajamas. We all feel comfortable wearing pajamas. I'm talking about things that you feel good in. Maybe there's only one outfit in your wardrobe at the moment that you feel really, really good wearing. Maybe there is a pattern. Maybe there you have a few outfits um, that you feel good wearing. So pull them all out, put, put them on your bed and see, can you, can you clearly see the pattern? What is it? Is it a specific dress? Is it, you know, jeans and a t-shirt? Is it more sporty look that you that you prefer and feel best in? So this is the first step you can take is look for a pattern in your wardrobe. Because even if you're not entirely happy with how your wardrobe is right now, the likelihood is that you, at least by accident, you have stumbled upon things uh, and bought things that make you feel good and you feel really great wearing. And a lot of the time, um, it can be something that you're saving. Uh, it's, you know, it, whether it's a pair of jeans or, or a dress or whatever, it's, it could be something that you're actually saving for a special day, is that you don't feel like, you know, it's so nice and so good and you feel so great wearing it, you don't feel like you should be wearing it every day. But maybe that's what you should be wearing. Maybe that's your uniform. So I, what I'm saying is go to your wardrobe and take out things that you like wearing the most. I am stressing the word like. Okay, if you do look at your wardrobe and you're absolutely sure that you don't like anything that's in it and you don't feel good um, in, in anything you own, uh, the best thing is to get clear on what your body shape is look at the short list of things that are most flattering for your body shape and then start looking online start googling start using pinterest and see what other people who have the same body shape what they wear and see if you can pick out outfits or outf specific outfits that you like and you think that would work for your lifestyle and that you would feel comfortable in so that's you know that's how you can also get you know a little bit more clear um, on what specific items you will feel best in and what your uniform is. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, please like our video and please share with your friends and your sisters. And if I don't go into labor during the week, I will <laughs> see you next Sunday and have a lovely evening and have a great week. Bye!